Hi guys and welcome back to Tati's Face Large Family Favor. If you are new here, this is my little piece of the internet where I talk about mothering, homeschooling, bio studies, large families. So go ahead and click that description box so you don't miss anything. Um, today I have a large family haul for you. We are a family of nine and I got a lot to go over here. Um, today is I purchased mostly meats and produce. The meats are gonna last for the whole month. The produce will last anywhere from about a week and a half to two weeks. Really all we do. My kids eat veggies like their fruits and fruits like their veggies and everything in between. So um, today, this haul was $258.86. Now, like I said, this is just meats and produce. I still have to go to all of these uh, hopefully tomorrow to finish getting some other uh, items on the list to complete these meals that I have here um, already on my on my schedule. Um, so this long list here, just to show you, it does come out to two fifty eight eighty six. With the exception of that, we've got two rotisserie chickens that we're eating uh, in a little bit because we have drama practice. And I've got like four boxes of freezer bags, a box of plastic wrap. And I think that's it as far as like the non-consumables or like immediately consumable <laughs> type of stuff. Everything else is laid out for me uh, and for you all plain and simple to see. Uh, just a quick disclaimer here. I am a mom feeding my family and um, I know you're a mom of your family and we all live and have different lifestyles. Some of us are vegetarians, some of us are vegans, some of us are carnivores. So, so um, just keep that in mind. I'm open to suggestions, healthy suggestions and things like that. Um, and you can leave comments down in the section below. I love following new recipes. I actually am really into baking. It's okay, buddy. I'm really into baking and I'm a mom. They're passing out rice cakes and someone didn't get a proper portion, so we're working on being content. So I'm gonna turn it turn it around and show you my haul. Ah, here we go. Ta-da! This is what the girls made for their brothers and all the siblings. So nice. I'm gonna taste that in a minute and see how <laughs> how that tastes. But let me turn this around and show you really quick. So here is my overview of what we have. So let me just start at this corner here. Um, this is my curry chicken that I would use one, one, of, one platter each day. So that's four days worth. Of course, I'm not going to do them every single day um, in a row. You know, each day in a row, I will alter it out once a week. But that is a uh, curry chicken. And here are my gizzards. Now with the gizzards, I usually put them with, with the green bananas and some onions, and I do it uh, Spanish style. Then here we've got uh, ribs. So that I'm gonna bake in the oven with some barbecue sauce. Here I have actually two, yeah, two packs of the family size ground beef. Uh, I'll use half for like a meatloaf so I can get two meatloaves out of one pack the other pack I do for use will use for um, half meatballs and the other half for spaghetti meat uh, ground beef and within the spaghetti here we've got some of the uh, buffalo style cut wings right here um, this here I'm actually gonna do use two packs for a day each day because they're smaller so for one it's gonna be probably more like a fried a fried style uh, for like a football night and the other we're gonna do the teriyaki style wings with uh, some coconut rice and here these are also substitutes that I use um, the sausages for the spaghettis this we do bacalao which is like saltfish. Um, that's a meal. So I've got two. These um, actually, these are one pound bags. So I have two of them. Now this was my big score of the day for where I'm at. The chicken drumsticks were 59 cents a pound. So I racked up. Now you see that it's like two, four, six, eight, ten, and there's nine of us here. But there is a second layer in here. So there's really two, four, six, eight, 
10, it looks like 12, 14, 16, at least 16. And that's, so I've got two here, two there. So this is actually maybe like, maybe a day plus some for my husband to take to lunch because that's the other thing that we have to factor in is that the kids and I, we homeschool, we're home all day long. Plus, uh, dad comes home to eat and we have lunch that we have to pack for him as well. So here um, I do a beef, strog beef stroganoff. Um, for lunch, my husband doesn't care for it, so I only got one pack. The kids and I will eat that um, once in a while for lunch. And chicken, chicken breast. Uh, the kids actually have gotten over a cold recently, so this, along with like the celery and the carrots that I have over there, I can use for chicken stock, chicken soup, and it's perfect for those type of days. Now with the bananas, the girls and I, uh, we are going to be doing some banana muffins this weekend coming um, for breakfast for co-op. That way it's a quick grab and go. So here's the teriyaki sauce that I was telling you uh, for the drumettes. Yes, baby, nice. I see it. And we've got soy sauce here. We've got some cans of beans. I was running low on some tomato sauce, so I picked up eight cans of that. And my barbecue sauce. Ginger, because my throat has been sore the last two days. So I'm probably actually getting what the kids have. And with that, I've got this. I'm really excited about this. I usually get the green tea, black tea, you know, just like the basic type of tea. But jasmine tea? I have not tasted that yet, so I'm super excited about that. We've got our pineapple there, which uh, we grew a few of those in the garden. They were really, really tasty and sweet. A friend gave me the uh, wisdom that I should let it yellow while it was on the sock in the garden, and it came out so delicious. So I'm, I thank her for that advice. Uh, we've got apples. We'll snack on that for co-op. Um, potatoes i use this in with the curry chicken as a filler and no ask that i've got a cabbage here i'm gonna try to do it's gonna be my first time i'm going to try to make a cabbage uh casserole so i'll let you know how that goes um hot dogs for those easy days spinach we juice it we cook it love it green peppers I know we have green peppers here. What else do we have? Red peppers, yellow peppers, and there should be orange peppers somewhere around here. Uh, yes, yes, yes. My kids eat these things like they're apples. <laughs> so we get them. Celery, like I said, for the um, chicken stock and chicken soups. Got some romaine lettuce here. I should have two packs. Yep, there goes my second pack there with carrots and some onion stock there. Uh, wraps, I've got some spinach wraps, a little thing of Hawaiian bread, actually that's for tonight. Girls, you wanna come and take this to make with the with the um, chicken? We've got two rotisserie chickens, some, some sweet potato mash, and the Hawaiian bread. <clears throat> We're gonna have that for dinner tonight because we've gotta head out to drama, uh, drama class and practice and um, yeah, it's a quick meal. We've got some walnuts here. Sorry, guys. Walnuts. This is for the banana bread. That's for the banana muffins. And I'm going to be seasoning, putting the, um, the meats with the sauces inside of the freezer bags to make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> and some plastic wrap. And then the girls wanted to pick up this because we have some, uh, what is it called? The Rice Krispies? Yeah, yeah, so they're going to do the Rice Krispie treats there. So just, just to go over a little bit here, um, I still have some things that I need to get. Like obviously for the beef stroganoff, um, I need to get the cream of mushroom soup and some sour cream and egg noodles. Um, for the breakfast, I still haven't gotten uh, everything for the breakfast. So I will be stepping out to go to Aldi's tomorrow and do my uh, 
hopefully there will be a month worth of food there, but uh, usually my months are like three weeks. <laughs> so <laughs> there you have it. Like I said, it was like 258. My receipt has drifted away from me with the kids, but I did show you that in the beginning. It's 258. And if you have any questions or any healthy suggestions, I am willing to hear. But that's it for us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Here's the second part of my haul, my monthly haul for the month of November. I am going to get this unpacked and let you see what we purchased. Okay, so here's part two of my haul for the month of November. I'll just pan over that really quick. Yesterday's video contained the meats as well as the uh, produce. So today I went to Aldi's. I just unpacked everything. And my total for Aldi's was $120.91. Oh, $120.92. Okay. And I had to pick up some more things. Like, like yesterday I had the the cubed beef well that's because i'm gonna do the beef stroganoff so i had to pick up my egg noodles and my cream of mushroom soup there uh we needed some more dishwash dishwashing liquid so i picked that up um getting a head start on thanksgiving so i picked up some of the vanilla wafers and some stuffing with the gravy there and some chicken stock for some of the other things that i'm gonna do with that um the milk Two gallons of milk, almond milk, some little uh, crackers here for the baby. My kiddos love the uh, romaine noodles. I try not to have them use the whole packet of seasoning because it's just too much salt. I've got cheese. I only picked up mozzarella for this month because I have some of the shredded uh, cheddar cheese still. Eggs. Oh, yes. Let me get my receipt because I have a question for you all. My eggs here at Aldi's are $1.29. So I've seen them as low as like 23 cents online. Like how is that even possible? It's beyond my imagination because I've never picked up a dozen of eggs for 23 cents. So let me know how you're doing it. If you're using coupons or some type of special code or discount card or something. I don't know. Um, okay, so I needed some seasoning. So I picked up a pack of Sasson. I love my dates here. This is good for sweetening when you're baking. Pepperoni. I'm using pepperoni on the thin sandwiches here for some pizzas um, during lunch hours for us. I've got my turkey. Brown sugar. We're going to be baking some muffins um, this weekend, tomorrow. Diced tomatoes, some beans. Back there is condensed milk yes hey don't throw that little boy uh what else we have here some corn black beans chili beans apples oranges grapes grapefruit my kids love fruits uh granola granola we're gonna eat with the yogurts here in the morning with some fruit we got two things of applesauce sour cream that's actually to go with the stroganoff we love tea here I picked up some hot dogs yesterday, so I needed the buns. We got four loaves, four, yeah, four loaves of bread. Um, some of them are for sandwiches for our classes and activities that we do outside of the home. Some of them are for quick, like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And another loaf, I'm definitely going to be baking some French toast with that, so I need that. And then this here is another thing that we do for lunch. I'll like slice the whole thing like that and then put in the turkey and cheese and then like kind of make you know little melts so I'll, I'll bake them in the oven just enough just long enough for the cheese to get uh, melted and then we'll have some fruit slices on the side with that and that is our lunch for that day so things that make me happy this holiday season would be nuts nuts I've got to find my nutcracker but we love nuts our vanilla wafers, stuffing, pumpkin. I didn't get anything related to pumpkin today, but I do like my pumpkin. Oh, yes, and we get, we did get eggnog last night. Yes, my son is reminding me that we got eggnog. But that's it. That's 
the completion of our haul, our monthly haul for the month of November. Um, and I'll just put a little side note as to what everything came out to between yesterday's haul and today's haul. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos. God bless you.